Hi, I am Gustav, the developer of the Tupitoof platform. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I want to give you a little tour of the latest version of our Tupitoof app from a tablet. So let's start. Once you launch the app, you will see a splash screen with the logo of Tupitoof. Just tap on it. As you can see, the interface is composed by an illustration area also known as the canvas, and for a bottom toolbar with all the features you need to create your own animations. So let's take a look at the different options available for you. Starting from left to right, the first icon is a question mark representing the help menu. This option is very handy if you want to learn faster what is the function for each button from the toolbar. I recommend you to read the content of this dialogue just for the first time. The second and the third buttons are related. The second one is the eraser, and it allows you to remove the latest line you added to your project. The third one allows you to recover the last line you remove in case you want it back. In other words, you are able to remove all the lines you draw and recover them anytime. The fourth button opens the color palette dialog. From this option, you can choose the line color, the fill color, and the background color you want to use for your projects. The fifth button allows you to change the thickness of your lines. You can adjust it anytime you want to, depending on the shapes or characters you want to animate. The sixth button allows you to change the transparency level of the colors you want to use for the lines and for the fill of the shapes. You can use different levels of transparency or opacity for the elements you are animating. The seventh button opens the brushes dialog. It allows you to choose different patterns for the lines and the feel of your drawings. I recommend you to try them. Maybe you can find some of them useful for your works. The eighth button opens the frames tools dialog. This feature is useful to insert, clump, remove, and clear all the frames you need for your current animation. Now, following with the toolbar buttons, the green arrows, one pointing to the left and the other to the right, are the controls you use to move from one frame to another. With the left arrow, you can go back to the previous frames, including the first one. The right arrow allows you to move forward and to create new frames when you reach the last one. The blue arrow pointing to the right is the player button. It allows you to reproduce your animation. It only works if you have created at least two frames or more. The penultimate button with the gear icon allows you to open the settings dialog. This is an important feature because from there you can set the speed of your animation. Make it faster or slower. This parameter is also known as frames per second or FPS. Remember that from this dialog you can change another features of the app related to the canvas and to the brush. The last button opens the project options dialog. From that menu you get access to several features like create new projects, to export and share your animations to social networks, to reopen or remove previous projects, and to export your works as animation source files in case you want to open them from Tupitoop Desk to keep working on them. Ok, that's it. Now you have a basic description of the Tupitoop app interface from a tablet. In the next video, I will show you how to use it from a cell phone. After that, I'm planning to create more content related to tricks and tips that you can use for your own animations from your mobile devices. Please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like, comment and share this video. See you in the next one!